Joining us now is Hans von Spakovsky of the Heritage Foundation. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me, Laura. What was the meeting like at the Heritage Foundation? <laughs> Calling it a meeting is quite an exaggeration. Uh, Jeff Sessions was the keynote speaker in a room with a hundred ambassadors and their staff, co-sponsored with the U.S. State Department and a number of other organizations. Uh, the only thing that happened was the Russian ambassador and a number of other ambassadors came up to Sessions as he was leaving the stage to thank him for his remarks. And that's the supposed meeting at which some, I guess, deep conspiracy was supposedly hatched. I mean, it's a ridiculous claim. Is this a witch hunt? I think it is a political witch hunt. Why? Well, because, look, uh, what Sessions was asked at his confirmation hearing was, did you, as a surrogate for the Trump campaign, have discussions with the Russian government about the election? He said, no, I didn't. And obviously, he didn't have that at the uh, meeting I just discussed. And the only other meeting he had was as a senator and a member of the Armed Services Committee. He had a meeting with a Russian ambassador to discuss the relations with Russia. That has nothing to do with the election. And the Russian ambassador was one of only about two dozen ambassadors that he met with last year. Do you believe that he should have recused himself from any probe related to the 2016 presidential campaign? Well, he, he did that today, as you know, in a press conference. I actually don't think he had any need to do it yet. I think it was premature. Why? Because there's nothing for him to recuse himself from at the moment. The FBI is looking at this file. They have not yet sent the file to the attorney general to review. Do you believe that here in, in Washington that just conversations like that should be something that the Washington Post or others in the mainstream media should be focusing on without all of the facts? Uh, that was a leading question, I must, I must admit. Yeah, uh, no, but that's a actually a very good point. Something that's getting lost in all of this is that there is not one iota of any evidence that a criminal violation of the law occurred. Um, having a discussion with the Russian ambassador does not violate federal law. And so far, we don't know of any kind of actual interference in the election, as people claim, other than somebody hacked the DN DNC computer system. And what did they do? Well, they simply revealed the false narrative that the DNC was putting out that they were supposedly staying neutral in the primary election when, in fact, they weren't. Hans von Spakovsky of the Heritage Foundation, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me.